Hi everyone, I'm Scottish girl Ellie. I'm 19 and I never had a dad. Hi, Hi Ellie. Ellie. Hi, I'm Emmy. My age is redacted and I never met my father. Hi, Hi Emmy. Hi. I was told there was going to be free apple crumble here. Hi, I'm Moxie. I'm 23 and I have hepatitis and I might be in the wrong support group. My mother always told me to stay virus free, but oops, she forgot about hepatitis B. Hi, I'm your friendly neighborhood pal Drumsy, and today we'll be running a support group for local girls that grew up without fathers. Lucky for me, I've met my father. He's kind of a superhero. The Invisible Man. But hopefully today we can help everyone else with their daddy issues. Hi, I'm Drumsy, and welcome to No Daddy Gang. The No Papa Squad. Father's not here, gang. Mommy Milky Group. No. No, Noxy, no. no. Papa no Guina, more like Papa not here. <laughs> <laughs> the three viewers from Papa New Guinea are gonna love that one, Emmy. Oh my god, I'm from there. <laughs> this is a support group. We are here to make each other stronger. Many of you might have feelings of being left behind, but the only thing I want you to leave behind here is your heart on the table. And our virginities. No, not that. What I'd like to do today is open up with you. I want you guys to lay your emotions out. What are you doing? Are you making fun of my gestures with my hands? I was doing the renegade. <laughs> <laughs> Emmy, I need you to stop using comedy to mask the pain that you're feeling. Can you tell me what you're really feeling? <sighs> it all started when I was born. It was dark and then bright white light. I didn't ask to be put in this life. And then the stress of my dad leaving just started all of this weird feelings. And you might think I'm joking because it's for a YouTube video, but really this has a lot of layers to it. Now my parents being divorced probably shouldn't have affected me as much as it did, but it did because I was forced to choose between two different families. I was getting really bored. I needed to tell Emmy that she's better when she's funny and not when she's sad. Emmy, I like it better when you're funny and not when you're sad. Good therapist, fucking therapist. I don't like it when you're sad. <laughs> I don't have a father, but I do have a daddy. Oh god, that's disgusting. You know, even though I entered the wrong support group and announced to all of you that I have hepatitis and have wanted to leave for the past several minutes, I've decided that I think I can help you guys. You know, you don't have dads and I am dad material. And I think Drumsy and I can dad you both together. Yeah, we can be the dads for you two wonderful children. Okay, well that thing needs to be exercised, so maybe not that one, but this one's fine. <laughs> Wait a second, can't spell dad without ad. Oh, f yes, Emmy, we do have a sponsor. You are the master of transitions. Let's take this party to the sponsor zone. Drumsy. Drumsy. Drumsy! What? Oh, sorry, Moxie. I wasn't paying attention to anything you've ever said because I was playing AFK Arena, today's sponsor. AFK Arena is a mobile game where you can collect different hero cards, level and train them, and eventually assemble a team of fully upgraded heroes. Can I be a hero? You'll always be my hero, Moxie. <gasps> really? No. AFK Arena has a unique art style, and they currently have a crossover with Assassin's Creed. They've added the character Ezio to the game. Look at him. Look at him go, what a cool little guy. Ezio, the skilled Italian's assassin? Yeah, the one that fights Bowser and marries Princess Peach. Oh! The gameplay is easy to get into and honestly pretty relaxing. You can play it completely casually without too much effort, but the game has strategic depth too, so even tryhards like Moxie can play. The what? It's a great game if you're busy, but want to add a little fun into your day here and there. You can level up and earn powerful equipment without too much time investment. And come on guys, with Ezio added to the game, it's the perfect time to try it out. The link is in the description below. Thanks, AFK Arena. Now it's time for Moxie and I to be the dads we were always meant to be. I'm sure we were gonna be great at it. Father, I haven't eaten in three days since she adopted us. Please can I eat? Moxie, can you teach this little Sasquatch how to grill some meat? You're darn tootin' I can. You won't find a 48-year-old balding man who can handle his meat better than me. Maybe on Omega. <laughs> I love ground beef. <laughs> I love lean beef. Oh, great, we got poop on the grill. Oh, uh, right? yeah. Um, so this is the first stage of meat grilling. It looks like this. That looks like somebody put dog poop on the grill, Moxie. That's not dog poop. <laughs> God, you're disgusting.
So just like, just like the boys you meet at school, you don't want to take it raw. So put that, put that piece of meat on the grill and let it cook a little bit. Do the hokey pokey, you turn that shit around. Now, you may think this is a cow burger, but it's actually a bison burger. Cause I'm gonna say bye son and never come back. <laughs> Dad, am I doing this right? Oh, 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 oh. Dad! You're doing great, son. Oh! I'm so sorry, don't beat me. You pick that meat up right now. I'm so sorry. I train all my daughters to be experts with their meat. Wait, catch, Dad. Come on, go long. Catch. Oh my god, it's like you're playing frisbee. <laughs> they say one out of every four people is stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. Come and shake your body, baby, do the conga do You can't control yourself any longer. Come and shake your body, baby, do What are you? What are you? Sandwich. What are you? An idiot sandwich! <laughs> what are you? An idiot sandwich! Can I teach you something, though? If you take one of these, and then if you go to a barbecue before you eat them, just find a tree and just... And then eat it, and it really increases the flavor. Drums, drums, can I, can I talk to you for a second? You know, I, I, I think we've bitten off a little more we, than we can chew here. These little girlies, eh, they're not that, uh, they don't have it going on up here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that one just rubbed a burger on a tree, and, um, I think she just shoved her hand on the grill and then didn't even react. Yeah. Drums, what's the return policy on children? I think once, I think once you have a kid, you kind of got to stick with it. Can we kill him? We could, but it would be pretty illegal, and I can't go back to prison. Moxie, look at me when I'm talking to you. When we decided to get these kids, we were in it for life, Moxie. You said till death do us part. Well, when you married me, you agreed to put down the toilet seat. But you don't do that. You don't do that, do you? Look, look, our child is drowning, and you don't even care. Changing the topic again. Typical Drumsy. Woo, we can't face our problems because the child is drowning. Now they're both drowning. Oh, so now there's two problems. It's always something else with you, isn't it? I'm leaving. Every dad I've ever had has left me. <laughs> Moxie, listen to me. Are you listening to me? Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, that's all I do, because all you ever do is talk. Moxie, I need you and you need me. We're not going to be able to raise these children by ourselves. We need each other. Tell me, Moxie, how am I supposed to take care of this? Can I go shopping now? I want to go out. Okay, I'm leaving. I won't be back till five. Not dressed like that, you won't. Why? What's wrong with it? Because You are like dressing funny. like a whore. Yeah, look at the way those jugs are out. Look, I may have sex painters, but you can't objectify me like that, man. Yeah, and I just want to just start an OnlyFans. Fine. We'll go change. Is this good enough for you? <laughs> what are you laughing at? You look like Mario. <laughs> It's not a phase, Dad. <laughs> it's not a phase! <laughs> Look at her trying to influence the tides with that slutty outfit. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! One day there will be a man on this moon. <laughs> Don't I mind me. Check. As I walk away, I hope I don't moon you. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, get back here right this instant. I mean, you go back to your room right now and you cover up that asteroid. Mm. <laughs> you do not rock. <laughs> <laughs> She's crazy if she thinks we'll let her go out dressed like that. An absolute lunar tick. With all of our marital troubles, I was worried that Moxie and I weren't doing a great job as dads. But there was one more chance for us to prove ourselves at the father-daughter dance. Moxie, I know that you don't want to be there for our two daughters. Our two lovely, lovely daughters. That is not the word I would use to describe them. But it's the father-daughter dance. And we can't be like their last dads and leave them, even if it's what we've always wanted to do. Yeah, I'm starting to feel real jealous of the, those other dads right now. Moxie, it's the father-daughter dance. Yeah, the father-daughter dance, man. The father-daughter dance. I'm not even sure that one on the left is female. Moxie, I know our relationship hasn't been all that you've hoped for. Um, our daughter is literally licking your shoulder. <laughs> Moxie, I know this relationship isn't everything that I've wanted it to be either. But Moxie, will you have this dance 
with your daughter. You know what? Fine, as long as it's not the blue one. I'm about to show you a time-honored dance tradition that I've passed down through my generations, and I'm going to bestow it upon you. Behold, the dance of my people. I don't want a dad anymore. You know, we may be a dysfunctional family, but inside the word dysfunctional is the word functional. It's also the word dis. And, and dis is my favorite family. That's the best we're gonna get, so... It's hard to say if offering to be these girls' replacement dad was a good idea. Probably not. If you grew up without a parent, it's very likely you've had to learn a lot of things on your own. You might have missed having someone to give you approval. You might have missed someone to give you a model of how to act. Or maybe you grew up never understanding what you were missing at all. But it doesn't always have to be that way. Support can come from so many places, including your friends. For me, I'd like to think that my friends are just like my own little extended family. Hopefully, Emmy and Illy feel the same way. We have dads, 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 we have dads. We're getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs>